Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel, Dare to Nerd, where today I am reacting to the first episode in Netflix's live action adaptation of Avatar The Last Airbender! Titled Ang. Alright, so I've already heard some mixed views on this show. It seems like it's generally positive. Most people seem to like it with, you know, a few critiques here and there about things that could be improved, mainly like the dialogue. But then I've also heard some people saying, oh, it's just dumb, it's not worth the time. And is this coming from fans of the original show and from people who have never seen the animated series? So it's like both sides of the aisle here. So I've already decided I'm gonna go into this just trying to treat it as its own separate project. I don't, I'm not going to go into this expecting it to live up to the original animated series because that's not really realistic. Uh, there are things that work in an animation that just don't work well in a live action, so I am expecting differences. Now, that's not to say I won't get excited by all the things I recognize from the animated show. Trust me, I will. I am a big fan. And also on that note, if you have not seen the animated series and you don't want to be spoiled for that, this might not be the reaction series to watch for you. You know, because I can already tell you there's probably going to be spoilers for the animated show. So if that's not what you want, you're being warned now. Scram. <laughs> but I'm going to go into this with just the mindset of enjoying it for what it is. So enough talk. Let's begin. Avatar. The Last Airbender. Partnership with Nickelodeon. Is that Sozin's Comet? Stop! Stop in the name of the law! Thief! I got something. It's the Dragon Squirrel. <laughs> Is he gonna do something? Oh, he's an Earthbender! That actor looks very familiar. Oh, he got hit bad. Yeah, <laughs> the guy on the chocobos were like, I know they're not chocobos. They just look like chocobos to me. They're uh, vulture horses or something like that. Oh, is he... To the Earth King. They're going to start a war. Oh, he's, he's sacrificing himself for the warning to get away. To get to the Earth Kingdom. Woo! Damn, he can hold his own though! Shoot! Yeah! What a master! Oh! 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 Did he get hit? He got hit? Nope, maybe? Yeah, mm, he's taking some hits. Oh, it's hot. Your battle plans are already on their way to the Earth Kingdom. Good. That means all eyes will be on the Earth Kingdom. So he'll strike the other tribes. He let that message go through. We aren't the real target. Nope. No, the airbenders are. My that's right. Are set higher. Because he much was, higher. Much higher. He was after the airbenders. Why are you doing this? Because he's a greedy motherfucker. This isn't about the airbenders. This is about one who lives among them. The only one who could possibly stand in our way. The Avatar. Now, my one thing that's always bothered me about killing all the airbenders to try and get rid of the Avatar is that you know that the Avatar reincarnates when they die. So wouldn't the Av If you just killed all of the airbenders, wouldn't the Avatar just reincarnate into the Water Tribe? and you'd still have the same problem. Now, unless Sozin, of course, knew how to sever that Avatar spirit and sever the reincarnation process, because I remember in Legend of Korra, they tried that, but I can't recall that Sozin or any of the Fire Lords really knew how to do that. That was the one plot hole that always bothered me with Avatar The Last Airbender, even in the animated series. Okay, that was a quick. Hey! Water. <gasps> yeah, we got the intro! Look at a little CGI ish here. A piece made possible by the Avatar. Kyoshi! <laughs> 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 
You can slay me anytime. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm done. I'm a simp. I'm sorry. The next master of all four elements, an airbender, who hey, may not be I like ready that for the responsibility of becoming the Avatar. Yeah! And it was that shot of Aang facing his back to the camera from the intro. So that was a good... I liked that intro, okay? That was a, that was a hard intro. They got... They got our attention, they kind of laid out what was going on, they gave a hint about the importance of Sozin's Comet. I like that we kind of saw a little bit more of Sozin, the actual Fire Lord at that time. Southern Air Temple. Oh, it's so beautiful! It's like the Yellow Mountains in China. Ooh! The blue arrow on his head actually has some, like, little designs in it. That's cool. Yeah, the show off. <laughs> okay, Willy Wonka. <laughs> At least it makes sense here. He's using the air. Show off. That's what I said. <laughs> there may come a day. And you wish you'd spent more time with your teachers. Mm-hmm. That day coming real soon, young grasshopper. Shout out to anyone who knows where that's from. <laughs> There's still a lot of work to be done before the air oh. nomads from the other temples arrive. Oh, and all the air nomads are coming to the one place? Oh, shoot. Ah, it's the bison! Ay, the herds of flying bison. Aang has always been a prodigy. But he is only 12. Yeah, he's still a kid. Aang must leave immediately to begin training in the other bending disciplines. And we can only hope that it is not too late for him to make a difference. Yeah, the, the problem is the war is not going to wait for Aang to get older. Like, I I do agree that, you know, no, sending, sending him off to war, no, absolutely not. He's just, he's 12. But... Yeah, I think they should have started his training in the other elements much sooner. Comet like, you gotta prepare this kid. Work. Well, the last one was a hundred years ago, and believe it or not, I'm actually not Is old that enough Yang to have seen that. You could have fooled me. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> you are the, the Avatar. Avatar. You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> Their actions threaten to throw the world out of balance. Only the Avatar can save the world. The world needs you, Aang. Phew, that's a lot to dump on the kid all of a sudden. I can't imagine a better person to have been given this power. Oh my god. I don't want the power. That's Which is what why makes you it. Will yeah. make a great Avatar. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't want the power. Good. <laughs> People who want the power probably will misuse it. You will always be my friend. Gyatso. Gyatso was also probably the closest thing to a father figure Aang ever had as well. Oh yeah, no, I wouldn't be able to sleep either, 100%. I already got insomnia, I understand. Sozin's Comet? How long does Sozin's Comet... Is that just that night? Is that the same night? Okay, maybe it's the same night. I was like, it's still there? Okay. Hey, Abba. Abba! Monks don't even yeah. trust me to feed the baby bison, and I'm supposed to stay <laughs> over. <laughs> it's because you goof off all the time. I don't want the responsibility. Yeah. I'm scared of my power. I'm scared of being alone. He is very insightful in himself for such a young kid. He's very in touch with his own emotions and able to recognize what it, what actually the problem is. Because I remember in the animated series, Aang said, I, ne I didn't want to be the Avatar. What he meant was he didn't want the responsibility, right? You can't. He was just trying to get a moment of peace <laughs> just to clear his head and try to come to terms with the overwhelming news that he just received, okay? And of course him just choosing to leave at that exact moment saved his life. Sound the alarm! Oh! 
What a dodge! He ducked just in time! He felt that coming! Woo! All right! Look at this guy holding his own! There you go. Avoidance, redirection. Avoidance, redirection. Ooh, didn't avoid fast. Ah, nope, nope, he's down, he's down. All the slow motion martial arts moves is reminding me a lot of the old uh, kung fu movies and TV shows and Karate Kid. <laughs> wow! Just as he's going by. Oh no! Yep, she got caught into a flame vortex. Jeez, did he just turn her to straight up ash? I Air does tend to fan the flames and make the flames bigger and hotter, so I could see how the airbenders would be at a disadvantage here. Even without Sozin's comment powering them up. That was cool. Walks into the, the wind and he just, his whole body is a flaming, like a fire elemental. Oh, you know, I, there he goes. Avatar state. Woo! So all the other avatars kicking in like, not today, kid. <laughs> You're not dying today. <laughs> we got work to do. Oh, and then we're just going straight to 100 years from now. Just from that scene to here. Okay. Whew. Yeah, they just don't appreciate your incredible leadership skills. That's right. They don't realize it. <laughs> that was sarcasm. <laughs> I am loving the costume design. All the costumes look really good so far. We're at war. Waterbending is what built our culture. Our way of life. Keeping it alive is our duty. Keeping ourselves alive is our duty. I know that. And if dad were here... But he's not here. I am. Uh, therefore, you're in charge. Okay. I mean, that does bring up a good point. Part of an invasion campaign and part of a conquering campaign is cultural genocide as much as physical genocide. It's to wipe out the history and cultural practices and the language of the people you are conquering to assimilate whoever's left into the conquering culture. So there is a lot of importance on keeping that those cultural practices and that history, passing down that history and teaching your culture to the next generation. That is a way of, of fighting back against invasion. You know, you do also have to keep yourselves alive too, like for sure. And the whole reason why Sokka's like, don't waterbend is because the Fire Nation came in and killed all the waterbenders. So he's not wrong, but Katara has a good point too. Oh, good job. I'm not doing this. Meh. <laughs> like, this is not me. <laughs> dun dun dun. The CGI in the ship looks really good. It seems like the all the, the sets, the backgrounds, and everything is also looking pretty good. I do kind of wish that they looked a little colder, because you know it's cold. Like, his ears should be just blood red right now in that cold. <gasps> oh, the avatars! There's our prince. Prince Honor. Good day. Yeah, yep. Just shot a signal into the sky, 100 miles high. What else could it be? <laughs> Me. What are you doing? You're not thinking. You can't you leave a, him Katara, there a in the snow. The iceberg just exploded and left behind a mysterious little bald person. <laughs> I understand, but. I don't like this. Why listen to me? I'm just responsible for the safety of the village. <laughs> just toss. <laughs> oh, Appa's still in there. That's where we have to go. Where you think we'll find the Avatar? Yes. Because of the Uncle light. Ira. You think I'm imagining things? Sometimes light beams are nothing more than celestial glimmers in the winter sky. 
Okay, but this was a very specific light beam. <laughs> All I'm saying is, it's hard to see you get your hopes up every time you see a... a sign. It's my destiny. Here we go. Destiny. Yeah, the acting with Uncle Iroh is a little bit... I don't know. Could have been a little better, right? Have you seen Appa? My Sky Bison? Sky Bison. Sky Bison. Just repeating it doesn't help. <laughs> oh, there he is. And he can already fly? I... Well, glad to see you outside the ice, buddy. Oh, and he brought his staff, too. What a good boy. Sky Bison. <laughs> this, this, this is it. This is what I was talking about. Most of them had just arrived for the Great Comet Festival. The Great Comet Festival. She knows what that means, too. How old is Grand Grand? Long ago, the four nations lived together in harmony. Then everything changed when the Fire, Fire Nation, Nation attacked. attacked. I love how the meeting hall has the giant, like, whale ribs, rib cage. That is cool. Everyone in the village knows this story. But mm -hmm. you don't, do you, young man? Because you've been trapped in that ice this whole time. Grand-Grand put it together like that. How come his omens never take her somewhere with hot springs, huh? <laughs> Is that Jow? Is there something you want to say, Lieutenant Chi? No, sir. No, Chi, okay. I was about to say, the big mutton chops were th through me really hard. Okay, Wolverine. We will prove ourselves worthy, or we will die trying. Well, I mean, I don't know if they signed up for that. I don't think they were the ones that were banished. That thing is just you. <laughs> A hundred years. All my friends. Everyone I know. Mm -hmm. They're all gone. Yeah, that that's heavy. And like, t from his point of view, he just got hit with it with the fact that he's the Avatar and had to take on all this responsibility like this morning. <laughs> This is like two huge wallops in one day for him. We were never really ready. Until we had to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That is very true. Very wise. Oh, there's the old Fire Nation ship! No one visits other nations now. Only friends with their own kind. Ooh. See, that makes it just easier for the Fire Nation to conquer them. You know, divide and conquer. You cut the lines of communication. Well, you certainly prepared enough. Now, how about a nice cup of jasmine tea? I got my tea right here, Uncle. Though it has been a long time since I've had jasmine tea. A mission your father believed to be impossible. And so your return home may be... unexpected. You're wrong. No, he's just preparing. He, listen, he's just preparing you for what could be. He's got a point. Your father purposefully sent you out on what he believed to be an impossible mission. Basically, he said, don't come back, ever, until pigs fly, basically. You might not be welcomed back as much as you think, even with the Avatar. You're a waterbender. Barely. I'm trying to get better, but... The monks told me bending is about energy and balance. Nice. There you go. You got it. He's more than the last airbender, aren't you? Mm -hmm. You are the avatar. Grand Grand, smart as a whip. When the world oh, needed the man. Avatar the most, he vanished. Because he's a coward. He ran and people died. He didn't, though. He's gonna feel that, though. He is gonna blame himself because he did, like, leave. And then all of this happened right after they told him, like, you need to help us fight the Fire Nation. So, you know, yeah, he's gonna feel that guilt, that survivor's guilt. But no, he didn't run and hide. He, he was trapped in the ice, man. <laughs> We merely seek someone who does not belong here. Someone 
who is not one of you. See, that's also the advantage of, you know, cutting the communication between different peoples. If you encourage that mindset of we're going to have to look out for our own and not care about anyone else, then that makes them weaker. Sucker, don't you see? He's the Avatar! And he lied to us about it! Man, he doesn't know you! <laughs> why, is, why is it his responsibility to tell you anything? You've been nothing but hostile to him since he came out of the ice before he was even conscious. That's what the Avatar is. He's hope. And we need that just as much as we need food and shelter. You need to live, not just survive. I'm Sokka. It's the iconic battle Dakota, club. Dakota, Lord of uh, snow and ice. Lord of snow and ice! Let's tell this between us. Leader to leader. Do you really need an army? I thought you firebenders had some guts. Woo! That was smart. Why don't you fight me just just one on one? Yeah, but he's outskilled. Who needs an army now? Did he just really did he just really pull a you and what army? <laughs> Leave him alone! I A the music. Hey, all you need was a little inspiration to get everyone else fighting back. Let's go. Oh, look at him. He's like, I'm so proud. You're in charge. Now. Hey, okay, what? <laughs> Let's go save that weird kid. <laughs> Why did the Fire Nation start this war? Others believe that true stability in this world can only happen under our rule. So the drive to conquer is a drive for peace and unity. Is that what you believe? I must leave. Mm hmm That was an interesting peek into Iroh's character. Like, you could kind of tell that Iroh was giving the party line a little bit while also remaining neutral about his own feelings. He was saying, some believe that XYZ. Being very careful not to reveal, because there was another guard standing right there, that he doesn't still follow the campaign line, right? He doesn't still believe in that propaganda that the world could only be peaceful under unity under the fire nation's rule that was kind of funny ang ang asked asked him what do you believe he's like uh i must go <laughs> here's someone call him a name Ooh, look at my boy that was slick oh that sleight of hand was a nat 20 Hopefully you can find a swift current. Maybe draft off their wake. Or we could use water bending. We could go another way. Or fly. <laughs> you're not serious. Katara, no. There's a no way you're getting me on that. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly timed screams. You just walked right into Zuko's room, didn't you? Like, literally, his his room. Yeah, it is interesting. He has all the statues of the different avatars, doesn't he? Oh, he was studying the the past avatars. Stop! Stop him! Stop! Yeah, he's gonna listen, totally. Woo! Yep. Dang. Yeah, of course he would be the one to get him. Grab your bow staff. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. You gotta do the helicopter thing. Come on. Oh! Nice catch! Bye! Boy, yeah, yeah he's got distance on his, uh... I'm sorry. I know for damn sure you didn't just water bend all the water from way down there all the way to up here. So you learned how to have a tiny ball of water just today, just this morning, after you were struggling with it, but now you can just have it look like a giant ball of water from way the fuck up there. I listen. Okay, I could see how people could start critiquing that because that is a little hard to, to believe that she became that skilled that fast. I know they kind of set it up a little bit earlier, like, you know, she did the ball of water and she's like, I wasn't even trying. You know, like, it clicked for her. I, I understand that they did set it up, 
to to make it to where she could do that and they're giving her a little more ability to do more in the group in this episode instead of just Aang coming in and saving everyone every single time like I can see why they did it we'll see how this goes in the rest of the series I'm not overly fond of the idea of Katara just suddenly becoming really skilled at waterbending I'd like to see her work for it because she does become a master waterbender she does become very powerful and very skilled but it takes work it takes time for her to get to that point which makes sense realistically so you know we'll see we'll see you know the firebenders aren't gonna give up they're gonna keep coming after you which means we can't go home it would put everyone in danger Oh, they're given a pretty realistic reason why Sokka agreed to go with, too. Oh, we already hitting up the temple! Okay. We just, we just gonna knock it all out in one episode. Shots now. Mm, yep. Oh, yep, there we go. That's so cool that when it lights up, it goes through the different patterns. You know what? You know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of the animated movie, The Lost City of Atlantis. Woo! Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's powerful. I can't imagine a better person to have been given this power. Man, they really pull in our heartstrings with this one. Ugh. And see, once again, like, they, to him, he just had this conversation. That was really cool, though. It, it definitely showcased how lost he was in the pain and anger and anguish. And how dangerous it was, because, seriously, he almost threw <laughs> Sokka and Katara off the mountain. He could have. So not to be rude, but what was that? Bruh, sensitive much? I need to follow through on what they wanted me to do. Complete my training and master all the other bending skills so I can bring balance back to the world. Oh, is that all? <laughs> is that all? <laughs> Sucker. I know where this will all lead. And I don't know if I have what it takes. But the one thing I do know is... I'm the Avatar. And this is just the beginning. Okay. A little cliche dialogue there, or monologue, I should say, <laughs> with the hyped up music. Like, I can see where some of the critiques are coming from. I can. It's still a fun show. <laughs> like, it's still a fun episode. They got the ending music, too. <laughs> okay, so there was a couple of things like I now understand what people mean by like the dialogue and the the acting like at the end there the hype up monologue speech with the you know crescendoing music you know trying to make it a real dramatic moment uh it, it was pretty cliche <laughs> there's a, a little bit of the dialogue that could be a little bit better but overall I think it's pretty good. I love the costumes and the backgrounds. I think they're doing fantastic with those. The CGI is mostly pretty good. Like, the bending seems good. The the intro with, like, water, earth, fire, and air, those people reminded me a little bit of, like, motion capture CGI that people use for games <laughs> a little bit. Didn't quite look as sharp as I would like. Little, the little changes that I noticed from the animated show to the live action haven't bothered me, except for Katara using her water bending to block the fireball. Like, and, but the main reason why I didn't like that was, as I said earlier, it's it was a little hard to believe that Katara went from struggling so hard just to get a little ball of water just that morning to suddenly she can get a huge ball of water because it would have had to have been really big to block that fireball the way it did way up in the air way far away from the waves like the overall vibe of this of this live action show is definitely more serious there is a more serious darker tone to it than the animated series i'm not surprised by that the kind of childlike playfulness of the animated series like you we can put a, a little bit of that in a live action but some of that I can understand 
wouldn't translate very well into a live action. It would just make it seem silly, I think. So I kind of like that they're making it a little more serious. There is still some jokes and some playfulness. Like Aang is a, a very playful character. Um, I'm hoping they don't get rid of that part of his character entirely. I hope we do see some, a bit of Aang wanting to ride the animals or do playful things because he is a kid. He likes to play. But like Sokka is not quite the clown that he was in the animated series, which I don't mind so much. It does make sense. Uh, he did have to grow up really quickly. He still had some fun one-liners, you know? He still made me laugh. He's just not like the butt of the joke as much. And, you know, so far I'm not minding that. But that'll do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, leave a like and a comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. And I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye!